Mr. Kim, sir, I'm a little perplexed. What's the difference between adaptation and evolution? So I can give you a short answer and a long answer. The short answer is we can see adaptation with our own eyes. We can observe it. We can test it. We can't see evolution. We can't observe it. We can't test it in the definitions that I gave this evening. A little more information on that is adaptation is what would happen if you guys were to go out and work in your garden without gloves and eat it for several hours, what would happen to your hands? There would be calluses, right? Were those there before? No. No. Where did those come from? <laughs> Something in your DNA switched on and started building those calluses, right? You adapted to your environment, didn't you? You adapted. Another way to look at it is if I have a bunch of dogs and I take them to a northern climate where it's really cold, some of those dogs have short hair, some of them have long hair. Which ones are going to be more likely to survive the cold? The long haired dogs, right? They've adapted to their environment. Now, some people would call adaptation evolution because they, in their mind, they imagine, well, enough adaptations, then you can get a bacterium to turn into a basketball player. But here's the problem with that. Adaptation, as far as we know, comes from the code that already exists in your DNA. Those calluses, you didn't just have a mutation that said, oh, let's accidentally build some calluses on this person while they're working in the garden. That, those instructions were already there and they were switched on, right? The genes for long hair, short hair, long nose, short nose, those can be switched on or off depending on your environment. So your environment has a lot to do with how your DNA reacts. It's very fascinating. DNA doesn't even have a brain. How does it know? How does it know what kind of environment you're in? I'm baffled. It's because God created intelligence in it from the beginning, right? But that's the difference between evolution, what I would call evolution, and adaptation. One's observable, one clearly isn't. Okay, good question. <laughs>